Hi everyone, welcome to Slim Chat 98 and um, good morning. So I've drank my tea, I've done my Rock Chat blog, vlog, whatever you want to call it, podcast. There are so many names for the same thing, really. So uh, yeah, I've done all that and um, getting a bit peckish. So I'm going to speed through this. No, not really. I'm going to get this one and go get some food. And uh, I just got on the scales this morning. Not a good thing to have done. And uh, I don't know why. But there was a momentary blip of gaining. It's not real gain. It's probably fluid, probably water. So um, I'm going to leave it a few days, get back on again. But I didn't really gain. I haven't eaten enough to gain and I haven't eaten the wrong thing. So there won't be a gain. Just um, fluid retention. I'm just like a big humongous vat of water, obviously. Should I drink any more, do you think? <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I'm like a camel. Just hump. Well, I had the hump yesterday, so that's probably why filled with water. Anyway. <clears throat> made myself a curry yesterday and it wasn't like the conventional type and I was very careful not to put anything carby in apart from a very small amount of tomatoes tinned went in for a bit of sauce um, but it wasn't even half a tin so there wasn't like loads I didn't eat all of it either so I didn't get all of the the tomato but um, it was a madras but I wanted to kind of recreate um, Gary and I when we've been to uh, the restaurant that we like, the Indian one, we have an onion bhaji, not an onion bhaji, a cauliflower bhaji. But although it's not like a bhaji, you know how you Im imagine an onion bhaji, like a big ball of kind of doughy stuff. Nothing like that. It's more like a, just a curry-fied cauliflower. It's very nice. Obviously, it's not madras, but I like the taste of madras, and I just thought it would be mild, curried kind of vegetables. So I cut up some baby corn into discs and had some cauliflower. And so all that went into it was onions, cauliflower and baby corn. And then um, I made a little bit of stock with oxo. So again, nothing really untoward in there. And the, the curry paste that I like, I did about two teaspoons. Put that all in with the tomatoes and just let it... Um, some water and let it reduce and put a little bit more in and let it reduce some more because the vegetables were still a bit crunchy by this time so uh, once it had, the reduction though is just so flavory flavorsome not much of a word just flavory um <clears throat> so that was it and then i'd cooked some chicken thighs so i had four little thighs they were small and then this vegetable curry on the plate as well it's really nice i have made better curries i have to say but it was still nice oh and when i was i had olive oil for my onions and um peppers i put pepper in as well obviously and I, um long pepper actually i think i forgot the pepper i didn't do pepper but yeah anyway i put a little tiny bit of coconut oil in not much because i don't like the overpowering taste of coconut oil and um, I always feel that, I've got a bit of a sore there, I don't feel that, I, although I do feel that, um, I always feel that it's a little bit sickly if there's too much um, coconut oil used, just heavy and makes me feel a bit queasy. So just a little bit gives it that coconut flavour as if you'd put coconut milk or, um, you know, coconut cream in get that coconut without all those calories and carbs and well for me allergy fired ingredients so um yeah put that in as well that was nice uh so just a kind of a stick it in the pot and see how it goes um thing not a recipe as such and i've done that before with um celeriac because <clears throat> as you know with a low carb sorry about that i had a narrow message come up um, finish setting up your phone always comes up I don't want to set up Apple Pay because you know 
this isn't my phone it's just a phone I use in here so anyway and then I was babbling on and noticed that it paused my video so I'm hoping that I am continuing where I left off if not this makes no sense to you um celeriac <laughs> because you can't have potato on this diet but you can have celeriac um, and I love sagaloo which is potatoes, spinach and a mild kind of curry sauce not a massive sauce just a coating like so in the past I wanted to make a sagaloo so I made it with celeriac and it was gorgeous absolutely lovely so I've done little bits like that before um, the trouble with celeriac although I really like it has a bit of an odd effect on me um, an antisocial effect of the bottom region it becomes very loud like a trumpet unstoppable can't odds it really it's just so much wind um, so as much as it was lovely I've never read it again <laughs> it was all right when I was single I could trump away to my heart's content didn't bother anyone well it did but not that I cared and, um, but you know when you start dating someone you think well maybe give that a miss you know so that's what happened and I never picked it back up again and I think Gary would like yeah he kind of stares at me and gives me evils when I do that anyway it's like you know you're supposed to be a lady you're supposed to be a woman <laughs> you know, I always think that's funny you know, yeah, but we have same bodily functions as men. You know, love me, love my trumps. That's what I say. I normally say farts. Love me, love my farts. But I was, don't know, for some reason I'm being all kind of less base. <laughs> anyway, I digress. So yeah, I've made these kind of little side dishes before, if you like. Um, they just bung them in and hope for the best. But I wrote that one down. Because I liked it so much, I wrote it down. I might try it again. You know, there might have been something else. Might not, I don't think it was. Because I used to roast them as well. Because you can't have roast potatoes, but you can't have chips. But you can make chips and roast potatoes from celeriac. And it's very nice. It has a very mild radish flavour. Very mild. But it's kind of a nice fry. You know, if you're having... I used to put them in the active fry, so they weren't fried fried. You know, they were still just one tablespoon of oil in the whole thing or less. <clears throat> but again, just call me Chicago. <laughs> Many of you may not get that. If you don't, let me know. I'll enlighten you. Um, yeah, so I had that. Um, <laughs> so I didn't have a lot to eat yesterday, really. And then when Gary came home and I, I woke, I, got, I didn't wake up, but I came out to spend time with him. So I had gone to bed, but I hadn't got to sleep. Um, we, um, we were both hungry and I kind of persuaded him not to eat loads, but I did have a slice of cheese. I had Monterey Jack. I love Monterey Jack cheese, but you know, I'm not meant to have dairy and I hadn't had any for so long. And that one piece of Monterey Jack cheese gave me a sore mouth. And I've had it so many times, it's never done that before. So that just kind of brought home to me that it definitely is dairy that upsets me. Because as soon as I had it, it was almost like I'd put acid in my mouth. And so I'll, if Gary doesn't eat that because it's quite fattening, I'll have to throw it away. Sadly, because it's lovely, I do love that. So for me, from now on, it's going to be non-dairy non cheese. It wasn't so bad, actually. I've yet to see how it melts. Maybe one day I'll see. And um, hopefully it'll melt and be like proper cheese. Well, that was a bit of an eye-opener, though, because I can't tell you how many times I have eaten Monterey Jack, just grabbed it and poked it in my face when I was a bit peckish. Not anymore, though. So yeah, that's that's what I had just did. Oh, because the trouble is I did eat more than I bargained for. I've forgotten, really, because I got up 
and I had my tuna for breakfast and then Gary was making a toasty and he made me egg and bacon but that was more like lunchtime. So I had the tuna then I had a and it wasn't like massive it was just one egg um, and bacon and it wasn't like two sausages you know it wasn't they were only chipolatas so it wasn't like a massive massive breakfast or brunch and then later on just the chicken with the the curry which wasn't I don't have anything in it it shouldn't but I suppose in terms of food there was more there than I'd been eating but you're meant to be able to eat that amount of food so yeah oh <coughs> more observant of you might see I've changed the channel name to Keto Slimming World Rocks but on the on the banner it said Keto and Slimming World Rocks but I've just called it Keto Slimming World Rocks I'm not sure it scans I'm not sure I like it but it kind of gets the message out there and I might keep it might tweak it if something you know better comes along and the other more observant people on crochet rocks i will do it on this channel as well i've added a new featured channel they've they've moved them they're now if you if you're on the main page and you scroll down they're at the bottom big round pictures and that is for Gemma, my daughter-in-law who started a channel she hasn't got very much on there at the minute but she's doing a photography thing so um if anybody wants to check out Gemma, it's called travel gems with Gemma, and um so Mike's got a, a channel, not that he does very much these days, but that may change. And Gemma's got a channel, and I've got three channels. So the featured should be four. So I'll have to remember, remember, remember to update my others with it. I only did a crochet box so far. Anyway, I'm going to get off and upload these videos, both this and Rock's Chat. I might do a live stream later on if everything works out um, because I am hungry and all this talk of food doesn't really help <laughs> so I'm just gonna have a, a light breakfast though so thanks for watching stay safe take care oh well, I haven't told you but heaven knows what I'm gonna have for dinner because I forgot to get anything out so it will be a surprise surprise to me at this stage so bye for now see you soon